Hello, we are the University of York iGEM team and we have joined forces with the University of Manchester to make a video explaining one aspect of mathematical modelling. This video is part of a series which can be found on their website. There are a few programmes available most frequently used by undergraduates. Programmes such as Copasi, vCell and Cell Designer are very user friendly. They require no prior knowledge of computer programming and they accurately mirror biology. Unfortunately, these programs have several disadvantages. They require extensive parameters for entire systems, which means they can be time-consuming. They also have a limited scope for more complex differential equations. In order to bypass these specific and sometimes unnecessary parameters, which often have to be determined experimentally, we can use an alternative called R. R is an open source programming language designed for data analysis, but it can also be used for modeling. It has the ability to compute delayed differential equations. With ordinary differential equations, we assume that the reaction to an action is immediate. For example, when I add the blue potion to the red potion, we see an instantaneous change with t equal to zero. With a delayed differential equation, we are able to introduce a time delay, which is closer to what actually happens in nature. Here we add a signal to our system every 30 minutes. When we take a measurement at T2, we see a response to the signal, but it is a response to the signal added 30 minutes before at T1. This is due to the reaction delay. We have separated the different types of programming software into two main groups. On the left, we have Copasi, vCell and Cell Designer. On the right, we have Python, C++ and Java. They have unlimited potential when it comes to writing code, but require an extensive programming knowledge. This is time consuming and would need one dedicated team member. R fits perfectly into the middle of these two categories. Now we are going to show you how to program a delayed differential equation using R. First, you need to download and install the program from cran.r-project.org. The example we will use is from our own project. It outlines how the concentration of our peptide should change based on the initial concentration of gold which we add to the system. Here you see the delayed differential equations used in the example. Define the name of the function and its parameters and input the differential equations. You include variables which can later be specified, for example the lag variable, which specifies the length of the delay in your reaction. This gives us a response based on the previous equations. For example, here we tell the program what the variables are in terms of numerical values for rate constants. Loading a package. This is similar to opening a program on a computer. This has several defined functions, which you would otherwise have to code for manually. To do this, you need to go to Packages at the top of the screen, click Load Package and select PBSD Dissolve. Now we tell R to plot a graph. We define the labels, the axes, their limits, the colours of the lines, etc. Thank you for watching. 